Right, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Mondeo video. Today's plan is I have lots of little niggly bits about this car that I do not like, and I wanna start putting those right, and I wanna start putting my own little touch on it. Some of the stuff that I wanna do today is somewhat mechanical, but a lot of the stuff is just cosmetic, and I just wanna put my own touch on the car and make it look exactly the way I want to. So, we're gonna start out by re the doors. by re -troming. this trim that runs along the bottom of the doors the previous owner did de-chrome it however he actually kept the chrome pieces which is quite lucky he left them in the boot for me so I've got them so I'm gonna go ahead and stick them back on there's a few other things I want to do um, I got a new Mondeo badge for the boot because again that was de-badged um, but I quite like having the Mondeo on there so I'm gonna stick a new Mondeo badge on the back I've got a new gear stick gate for the inside of the car this one is a little bit tatty and looks a bit rubbish and it's also sort of sticking out just looks a bit rubbish in here so I've got a new one for that it actually says ST on it as well which is kind of cool. I've also got some new gas struts for the bonnet because the bonnet has hit me on the head twice since I've had this car. The gas struts are not doing anything anymore to hold the bonnet up, um, so I'm gonna be replacing them. And then the biggest thing of all is my dials, when you look at them, this side, the whole right-hand side, where it tells you how fast you're going, the lights are completely gone in this side. Um, this side still lights up blue, but this side there is nothing whatsoever. And last night when I was driving, I could not see what speed I was doing. So I wanna get the dials taken out See if the bulbs are blown or see if they just need uh, like wiggling because that could get me in some trouble if I don't know what speed I'm going and I go through a camera or something. Um, so that is quite a big thing that I want to get fixed today. I don't know if you can see, but I took the gel badge off the steering wheel. This is the one that was on it. It was just sort of put right on top of the blue one and took that off. That's the first step to putting the badges on this car back to how I want them. I've ordered two for the outside. I've ordered a boot one and I've also ordered a front one. So when they come, I'll switch them out and we'll get try and get rid of as much of this red as we can. At some point, I will paint the surrounds on the fog lights as well to get rid of that red, um, but I'm not gonna be doing that today. If I've got enough time, I also would like to detint the rear lights. I'll give them a wet sand and a polish if I've got time um, and get rid of the tint on them. So it's a bunch of niggly little fiddly jobs to do today, uh, but I figured I'd take you guys along for the journey. You like to see these little bits and pieces be done. So let's get started on the outside of the car. Let's get the chrome trim back on the doors. Let's get the chrome Mondeo badge back on the boot and hopefully that'll improve the look just a little bit on the outside. You can see just here on the door where the trim should be. These are the holes for the clips and then it clips all in along here and goes into these and then all the way along there and all the same on the other side as well. So these here are the four pieces of chrome trim to put back on. The clips all look okay. There's one or two that were slightly broken, um, but I think I'll get away with that. I just need to figure out which one goes where and then stick these all back on. Well, that actually went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to be. I thought little things like that, little trim pieces, are usually really tricky. You usually end up breaking a bunch of stuff. Um, but those chrome trim went on like a piece of cake. And um, there's a couple of clips that I broke. However, it didn't make a difference to them uh, holding on. There was plenty of other clips holding them on. So I think that looks way better already with those chrome strips on. Next thing I'm going to do, we're going to stick with chrome. I'm going to go ahead and apply this new Mondeo badge. This is a proper four part. It is self adhesive as well. So it's already got like sticky pads on the back of the letters. So I should be able to just peel that off um, and stick it on as it is. You can actually just about see where the old Mondeo badge was. Uh, they obviously didn't do a fantastic job of cleaning this up, but I'm just going to clean the area because as you can see, my car is freaking filthy. There's so much dirt on this car. It's ridiculous. I'm going to go up and clean this area um, and then I'm going to stick this Mondeo badge right over where it's supposed to be. I'm just going to follow those lines essentially. It's going to go something like that, but I'm going to use both hands for this so I get it right. Right, so there we go, that's the badge on. It doesn't actually look that straight to me when I look at it like this, but I put it exactly where the old 
um, letters were, so I assume that that is the factory position. It looks a little bit on the wonk to me, but I guess that's right. It looks a lot cleaner with that uh, Mondeo badge on there. Next up, we are going to be doing the bonnet struts. I'll quickly show you what the bonnet struts are like on the car at the minute. They're absolutely abysmal. They pretty much do absolutely nothing. Um, but I've got two brand new ones off eBay. I think they were like £10 or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and switch these out so the bonnet doesn't land on my head anymore. So as you can see, these bonnet struts pretty much do nothing. If I pull the bonnet down even a little bit and then let go, the thing just falls all the way down. They do pretty much nothing. So I'm gonna change these out. You can see they're quite old. They don't look like they're leaking at all, but they're clearly not doing their job. And I was in here the other day and I was tinkering around with something and all of a sudden the bonnet came down straight onto my head, which is not good. So I'm gonna get these swapped out now. So I'm gonna use my half inch ratchet as like my bonnet stay for now while I take these off. Cause if you take these off, Without having something like that in there, like a broom handle or something, then this is going to come crashing down on you. I've done it before. Learn from my mistakes. So these ones that I've taken off are actual Ford ones. So I wouldn't be surprised um, that these might be the factory ones, maybe they've never been changed. These ones are just whatever brand that is, in supper car parts, but they'll do the job. I think it's good practice when you're doing these struts, either on the bonnet or the boot, just to add a little bit of grease, just a little bit of multi-purpose grease um, on the balls themselves. Just helps them to move a little bit. So that's just with one brand new strut on it's actually holding the whole bonnet up and um, so you can imagine with two brand new ones it should be a lot better you can see how bad those old ones were if one of these will hold this up and two of them were struggling right just a quick little test to make sure it works all right Well happy with that. It actually takes some force to actually push it down now, whereas before, and it actually pings up. That's so much better. That's not going to be falling on my head anytime soon. Whilst I'm just under here, there was something I wanted to show you. Um, I was around my dad's the other day doing a trike video, and I took this cover off because I hadn't taken it off yet. Let me just take the dipstick out. I'll take my engine cover off because I wanted to just have a look under it. And I found, found that I've got quite a bad oil leak around this injector in fact all around all of them but this one especially i don't know if you can see in there there's a puddle of oil around that seal now there now these things here with the little lugs these are seals around the injectors the injectors are here and there's seals around them i had to remove them when i did my dad's injectors on his diesel um, so i've ordered some new seals so i'll be doing a video on that soon you have to take all these pipes off it's actually quite a big job and it's quite involved but it should be a good video to film um, but there's just a massive puddle of like black oil here so it's leaking up past the injectors um, and onto the top of my engine so i'm going to do that at some point also this car has got an egr valve delete i had a load of people telling me in my previous video to delete the egr already been done um, there's also a little nipple here for a boost gauge so there'll be a video on installing the boost gauge coming soon that's kind of about it in the engine bay there's not really a lot else that's been done to it um, i'll be painting this cover soon because that is a mess and the paint's all sort of flaked off it and i also want to get a new um, hose for here like an induction hose um, i've seen one on ebay and i'm gonna probably pick that up let me know what color you think i should go for there the one i've seen is red but you can get like purple blue green um, yellow stuff like that so let me know what color one of these you think i should get Right, so that is all the exterior jobs done today. Uh, two things left to do. I'm leaving the biggest job, or what I think is gonna be the biggest job, until last. That might come back to bite me later on, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna move on to the other interior thing that we're to do, and this is the uh, gear stick gator. I wanna change it out because the one that I've got at the minute is a bit tatty, a bit ratty, and it needs to go. It's got red stitching on it. The handbrake has also got red stitching on it, and so has the steering wheel. So I figured it was good to get one that also had red stitching on it. So this has got red stitching, but it's also got the ST badge. Some people might think that's a little bit tacky, but there is an ST badge on the steering wheel itself. Um, so, you know, I think it'll look quite smart. 
and if I don't like it I can always change it but for now I'm going to take this old one out I don't know how easy it is to change I think it just sort of pushes in um, and then stick this one in and hopefully that should look a lot cleaner I'm not entirely sure how you get the gear stick off in one of these cars I don't know if there's a screw or whether you just pull it off or what so I'm gonna have a little hunt and see if I can figure out how to get this oh there we go it's just a twisty twisty pull off I think goodness me it's tight let me just try and unscrew it maybe it's an unscrewy job oh yeah it is an unscrewy job that's good to know I think there's a spring behind here though so I've got to be careful how many threads there we go there's the spring keep hold of that and then this should just pull off and then I can just change these gaiters over so the previous owner has screwed this one on with a couple of screws on the back I think they're supposed to be stapled because you can see a bunch of staple marks along that edge this trim was also broken so I'm gonna have to get a new one of these at some point as well so um, I guess I'm gonna reuse the screws and screw the new one on So this is what we have as a finished product. I'll be honest, because this plastic trim, um, which the boot actually goes on is broken, it's really janky and it's not held together as it should be. So I'm gonna order a new piece of plastic and I'll redo this all at a later date. But for now, I'm gonna get this fitted on there and just see how it looks. So I actually do like that boot. I think the boot looks a lot nicer than the old one did. Um, so let's get this all back fitted in the car and see how it looks when it's all finished. Well, I would argue that that looks a lot better than this knackered old thing. Look at the holes starting to appear in it. You can see how uh, used and abused this one was. So I'm glad to be rid of this one. And that is now how this one looks. You can't even really see the ST that much anyway. Um, it's right there. Look. Uh, it's a kind of really short shifter because the gear stick is so short, the gator sort of pushes in rather than it being sticking out more. But I think that looks quite smart. I like that. And you can't beat a new gear stick gator as well that matches in with the handbrake, matches in with the steering wheel. I like it. So with all those little niggly jobs now done for the day, I'm moving on to what I think is gonna be the biggest job, although I'm not sure how much work it's gonna be because I've never done it before. We need to get these dials out so that I can check the bulbs on the back and see if they work or see if they just need sort of wiggling and twisting in to get them to work again. So that is the last job of today. We're starting to lose a little bit of light, but we're inside the car, so we have got sort of lights and stuff we can use. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this dash apart, get the dials out and we can check the bulbs and replace them if necessary. So I guess the first thing to do is to get the steering wheel a bit lower. I've got the adjustment. I'm gonna pull it out and pull it low, get out of the way. And in my focus, um, I'm assuming that this is gonna be fairly similar to my focus. When I took the dash out of that, um, this piece of trim just sort of pulled forward. And I think this one's gonna do the same. Could be wrong. Doesn't look like there's any screws on it. I don't wanna break it though. So I've managed to take out a couple of the trim pieces already, but before I get ahead of myself, before I get the dials out, I guess I should quickly just show you what I'm talking about when I say that the dials aren't working. I did take a picture yesterday, so I'll put the picture on the screen right now. However, I will just show you in person. Um, it is daylight at the minute, so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see the dials. But if I put my lights on, turn my music off, you can see just about that these ones are lit up blue, these ones absolutely nothing and even the fuel absolutely nothing. So it's pitch black this side when I'm driving and it's lit up blue this side when I'm driving so it's kind of annoying. Um, so I'm going to try and sort this out. There seems to be just two screws holding these dials in. These are the pieces of trim that I took off. This one that goes underneath my legs, just down there. Um, five Phillips screws, just three along the bottom, two along the top. And that came out and then there's another piece of trim here that goes just under where the dials go right there um, and that was just two screws as well one there one there and it looks like just another two screws to get the dials out a torque screw each side just in case you care they are t20s nice little star head t20 there gonna take these last two out and then give the bulbs a wiggle and see if i can get them to work without having to change them so with those two screws out, I've managed to get the dials um, somewhat out because uh, they're obviously connected with the wiring harness back there. I can't get them all the way out, but I think these green things 
I can turn this. There's like green things on the back there, these. I think that's where the bulbs is. So if I twist it, it'll then come out and you can see. They are just like normal side light bulbs, so T10s, that's what I think they are. But I'm not gonna change them straight away. I'm just gonna see if by giving them a little wiggle that that will somehow, I can't see what I'm doing. That'll somehow fix the issue. All right, let's see if that's actually done anything just by sort of wiggling the things about. Stick my keys back in. All right, I'll give it a wiggle whilst. I'm not getting anything yet. All right, so we've got a temporary fix for right now. I've managed to get the dials working. So we have blue dials again, but as you can see right here <laughs> is really bright. Um, the old LEDs, which are these ones here, they are just white LEDs, but the dials are blue. So there's got like a, a blue, um, what's it called? Like a, a blue piece of film in the dials, which makes them light up blue. So the LEDs themselves are white, but the dials themselves are blue. However, anyway, regardless, these two LEDs that were in the dials are both no good. They don't seem to be working at all. I have stolen the LED lights out of my footwell lights so there's a footwell light in each footwell um, so I've stolen them for now and I've stuck them in here however this one is like a different bulb to this one you can see where um, it's brighter here than it is sort of at the top so for now it'll do because at least I can actually see how fast I'm driving but I am going to order some more LEDs and I'll come again um, at a later date and stick some more LEDs in here because I don't actually have any LEDs in my shed. Usually that's something that I would like stock because they're side light LED bulbs. Usually I would have like a bunch of them in my shed somewhere but I can't seem to find any. So I'm going to get some on order um, and we'll probably replace all four so that they all match. But there we go. It was the bulbs that were bad, not sort of the connections. The connections are fine. Um, but at least I can actually see what speed I'm going now. So that's good. So I'm going to get this all back together, get the trim all back in and then we can wrap up today's video. Right, there we go, everything's back together. Dials are all back in, trim pieces are all back in. Let's just check one last time that everything works for now. It does, we light up everywhere. That spot's now gonna really annoy me how bright it is there, but I'll get that changed out as soon as I get some new bulbs in two or three days time. So with that last job finished, I think I'm gonna call this video there. Like I said at the start of the video, just a bunch of little niggles on the car that were starting to annoy me and um, that I just want to tackle. I've got actually a lot more pits still coming for this car, lots of stuff still ordered. I've got a new mirror, uh, like wing mirror for the driver's side because that one doesn't fold in. Uh, what else did I order? I ordered some other bits as well. And when all that comes, I'll do another one of these videos where I just sort of install a bunch of little bits. After payday this month, I'm gonna get everything that I need for a service for this car. I'm gonna change the oil, all filters, and all that sort of stuff and give it a proper service. I've also got a belt coming for it as well. And then once it gets warmer, I'm gonna start tackling some paint stuff. I'm gonna paint the wheels silver. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the scratch along the doors and stuff like that. So still lots of fun things to come on Monday. I just wanna shout out at the end of this video, everybody that has supported the videos this far on the Monday. I think the first one got like 40,000 views. Um, the second and third one, I think got over 50,000 views each, which is mad. And a bunch of likes and comments on the video. So thank you ever so much for the uh, support on the Monday videos. It really does mean a lot to me. So with that being said, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Make sure you subscribe for future content. Follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up to date with things that I do daily. And I'll see you guys in the next one.